In this video, we are going to complete our tank level control system. In the last video, we made a tank level system. Uh, in fact, we made an open loop system consisting of a pump and a tank. Uh, uh, yeah, a tank. Uh, in this part, we are going to add the other necessary parts for a, a closed loop system. Okay. Let's open up the last file. Before continuing, I have to uh, correct something uh, we did in the last time. We added a saturation function here. Uh, in fact, it is not necessary to add a saturation. Uh, uh, VI here uh, because first of all it doesn't solve our problem completely I show you why it doesn't solve our problem uh, secondly we can uh, actually uh, without using this function we can achieve what we want in this system I, uh, I mean um, no, uh, we added saturation uh, VI because we don't uh, uh, we wanted to have the maximum level of 4 and the minimum level of 0. We said that it is not possible to have a level of uh, more than 4 meters or less than 0. De uh, therefore, we added saturation VI. Uh, but uh, I show you how to solve this, uh, actually, how to overcome this problem without adding saturation VI. Okay, first of all, I show you why the saturation VI here uh, doesn't solve our problem, then I continue with a, a new solution. Okay, I run the program, I put it on the maximum, I add a probe here, probe also. Probe number 11 is in fact the level of our tank, what we see here, the level, uh, the level of water of our tank. But probe number 10, uh, before the saturation, uh, we cannot see uh, here uh, in our, uh, let's say, uh, in our panel here on the left side. But you see here that the level uh, is increasing, although we put a saturation after that, this point. Now, uh, okay, uh, now you see the problem. When I put this control to zero, okay, uh, we have to wait for a longer time. Uh, again, actually, I have to increase it so we will have a high so I can show you what is the problem there we have to wait until we have a very high level here in this point actually in reality the level of water cannot be more than four when we turn off the pump um, in fact the pump should start to empty very quickly but in this simulation, when I turn off the pump, okay, you see, it takes a lot of time uh, until the tank starts to empty. This problem uh, actually is because of this point. You see, still the number is high, although we cannot see on, the, uh, on our tank on our control panel, but the number, actually the simulated level uh, level of water is too high and it needs a lot of time until we reach the 4 meter, then after that point it starts to empty. Actually the tank starts to be emptied. Okay, this is the problem and adding the saturation function here 
doesn't solve our problem. What we have to do is, actually, uh, let's wait until we uh, actually we reach the four meters of water here. Then you you will see that after that point, the tank is start to be emptied. Let's see that point. So the problem is clearly yeah you saw that. Okay. I stop our program. I uh, where is my uh, tool palette? Okay. Okay. I remove the saturation. And I go to my integrator. And there is some uh, uh, actually there are some parameters here to configure as you can see here uh, we can change the value of this parameter I change the value to both actually limit type both then I will have I, I want to have a lower limit of zero and upper limit of because here the maximum level of uh, the maximum height uh, maximum level of water in our tank is four meter then I therefore I put four here okay I run uh, I run our program again Okay, see, the level is 4 and it doesn't uh, go above this value. When I turn off the tank, immediately it starts to empty. You see, at 4, I leave it there, uh, you can even... I want to show you that when I turn off the grid, it's actually it immediately it starts to drain. Okay, that was our problem. I continue with the uh, with our program to make a, a complete closed loop control system. Okay, I show you this picture uh, again here. Uh, yes, f uh, first of all, we need a sensor to. Uh, actually to measure the level of water in our tank uh, the sensor passes a, a voltage to the summation point and it will be summed actually the minus of the value of the measured uh, uh, level of water uh, plus the set point passed through an interface analog digital interface they, they, they will be summed here uh, an error is produced here the error goes to a PID controller then an amplifier then we use a saturation function here because the maximum voltage of our actually there is a limit for our amplifier the, the, the voltage of the amplifier can not be more than a certain amount um, uh, we say that the maximum voltage of, uh, um, uh, of uh, our amplifier could be uh, 250 volts. Then, uh, actually, this amplified voltage goes to our uh, uh, to our pump. But there is a delay. This delay is because you know uh, there will be a dead time uh, between receiving the voltage between the time when the pump receives the voltage and the time the pump starts to uh, in fact pump the water this delay is because of that okay uh, we already talked about it uh, about this that uh, the sensor we assume that the level of water 
is multiplied uh, multiplied by 0.1. That means four uh, meter of water will be convert it will be converted to 0.4 volt. The same thing applies also for AD interface. When we enter here two, it uh, converts. Actually, it is converted to 0.2 volt. Okay, I think uh, we don't need uh, to explain more. Uh, okay, when we go to a uh, uh, actually closed loop system, we don't need a manual control here for our pump. Therefore, I remove it here. Okay, first of all, we have to stop it. I remove uh, I remove the knob here because uh, instead of a manual uh, control for the pump, we will have an automatic control. Okay, I go to the block diagram. I maximize uh, our window. Actually, I have to make it also bigger. Bring it to the center. Okay. Okay, first of all, a sensor. I click on control and drag gain. Okay. It will be copied. I change the name here. So we can have a track of our program all the time. You will not get confused. Okay, sensor. And again, we put 0.1. Terminal. Mm -hmm. The same thing we can use here. Actually, I'll show you what we want to achieve. Can I push down control, make a copy of this? Okay, uh, here we have a PID controller. I insert a PID controller uh, from control and design. Uh, simulation, continuous PID controller. Okay. Uh, I double click on PID control because I have to explain a little uh, bit about the PID controller. You see there are three parameters in uh, PID controller. Actually, we can we can uh, we can adjust our controller, changing these parameters: proportional gain, integral time, or derivative time. Uh, Our PID cont uh, controller can be in three forms. Actually, it can be academic, it can be parallel, it can be in series. See, uh, uh, based on your selection, here the parameters change. Okay, I go to help and show you what uh, actually what are the differences between these. Three forms. You see, in a PID academic, 
we will have such a formula for our controller.